Ladies and gentlemen, the ceremony will begin in a few minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the ceremonial procession and remain standing for the national anthem.
you. Please be seated. Guest of Honour, Professor Teo Eng Kiong, Chief Executive Officer, Sengkang General Hospital. Professor Chua Ki Chang, Deputy President, Academic and Provost, SIT. Senior Management and Faculty Members, SIT. Donors, Industry Partners, Distinguished Guests, Graduates, Ladies and Gentlemen, and all who are watching the live streaming of the ceremony. Welcome to Graduation 2021. Today, we celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates. Our guest of honour this afternoon is Professor Tuo Eng Kiong, Chief Executive Officer, Sengkang General Hospital. Professor Tio will now deliver the graduation ad address. Professor Tio, please. Good afternoon, Professor Chua Kichang, Deputy President, Academic and Provost, SIT, graduating class of 2021, parents, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to the graduating class of 2021. Today represents a crossover chapter in your life. All that you have learned in the past years has been to prepare you for the exciting journey ahead of you. I have been really looking forward to addressing all of you at this graduation for two reasons. The first is because I want to congratulate you on your resilience in learning and adapting to these very challenging circumstances over the past two years. Darwin has said in his theory of evolution that it is not the fittest of the species who will survive, but the most adaptable. If there's any silver lining to the pandemic that we have been facing for the past two years, it is that you are graduating with a life skill that cannot be taught within a classroom, that of adaptability and resilience. The fact that you are here today is a testament that you can do it and you can make it in a tough world. Congratulations. One of your classmates, Muhammad Firdas bin Toslimin, is one of such role models. Firdas stayed resilient despite multiple setbacks during his studies to graduate with a degree in physiotherapy. During his second year, second clinical placement, he injured his left wrist while seeing a patient and was unable to complete his second and third clinical placement. Unfortunately, a few weeks after that, his father passed away due to a heart attack. He was initially disheartened with all the delays to the completion of his studies, but thanks to all his classmates who rallied around him, he was able to deal with these setbacks. We are very happy to note that Furthers will be starting work soon as a physiotherapist at Sengkang General Hospital. Welcome. Congratulations, Furthers. And just as importantly and significantly, I want to congratulate all his classmates who had his back supporting him during this difficult time and encourage him along. When you join the workforce, you'll find that teamwork is going to be a very critical component to success. Watching out for one another will not only make your own journey richer and more fulfilling, but it is going to be critical for the greater good. The second reason why I'm excited to be here today is because I totally resonate with SIT's position as a University of Applied Learning, a pedagogy that connects academic knowledge with real-world applications. I can tell you that Sengkang General Hospital is looking forward to working with graduates like you, you who will be able to hit the ground running. As you all know, the world is changing at a faster pace 
than what we can really teach you. It's like buying a device these days. The moment you pay money for the latest gadget, be it a smartphone, a TV or a smartwatch, that gadget is so smart that you can be sure that the next generation is already in the pipeline, waiting to make the current version redundant. Your ability to cope and keep relevant with the rapidly changing landscape is going to be based not only on skills, but also on passion and a continual thirst to explore, innovate and create the future. We cannot sit tight and wait to cope with the future only when it comes here. To be on top of the game and be assured of your relevance, you need to create the future for yourselves, for ourselves and for the patients that you will be helping to rehabilitate. Sengkang General Hospital, which is currently the newest acute hospital in Singapore, has been engaging and exploring with SIT in the area of innovation. We are looking forward to collaborating on projects with the younger generation who can bring in fresh ideas and perspective that can help to bring us to the next level, the next frontiers of healthcare. Just a bit of background, shortly after Sengkang General Hospital was officially launched in March 2019, the COVID-19 pandemic had started to take us by storm. As a newly minted hospital, all our preparations for a gradual ramp up was not to be. Instead, we had to turbocharge our plans and our processes and deal with overnight changes and redeployment of our manpower to fight pandemic. Everyone, including our allied health professional, left their comfort zone to stand shoulder to shoulder with one another, clinicians, nurses, allied health professionals, and admin staff had to pivot their skills to wherever help was needed. No task was too menial, and even the most senior clinician was sweating it out at the dormitories in full PPE to help with the swabbing operations. As safe measure, management measures were rolled out in a fast and furious pace, we had to act quickly and think out of the box for solutions on how to provide the best and safest care to our patients while minimizing our risk as well as the risk to our staff. Teleconsult, for example, had to replace face-to-face -face consultations. Digitization, robotics, artificial intelligence, automation, data analytics, had to be embraced at a much faster pace than what we have ever envisioned. One of my friends tells me that COVID-19 is the most efficient chief transformation officer we have ever met. If we don't open our minds to trying different ways of doing things, we would not be able to cope with the demands and the challenges that have been and will constantly be thrown in our way. Whether you are a large established organisation or an individual therapist, the challenge is the same. What I'm really trying to tell you is that the world and life is not going to follow your best laid plans. Our training and skills is only as good as our power to adapt and to be flexible. And as I've said earlier, your presence here today shows that you have the ability to flex with the times. Don't lose this agility and the mindset to learn unlearn and relearn at every stage. There's also another important reminder that I need to share with all of you today. As much as we leverage on technology and robotics, we have to preserve the human side of caring above everything else. All of you have chosen this career path to be a physiotherapist for many different reasons. But a common theme that I've heard again and again is that many, if not all of you, want to be able to help the sick and the vulnerable to regain their health. Take ex another example. Ms. Elsie Lim Kim Hyok. Elsie is a business graduate from NTU who spent close to two decades working in the public sports facilities and event management. But she decided to switch the course of her life to directly helping people improve their health. 
She was also an ex-national rover and a silver medalist in the 2005 SEA Games. Elsie was able to experience firsthand the work of the physiotherapists on athletes and was inspired to switch career so that she too could be in a position to help others. Thank you, Elsie, and each and every one of you for choosing this noble path and dedicating your lives to help the sick and those in need. Remember this important calling and motivation because as you journey in your career, there will be ups and downs, times of acceleration and times of frustration. It is not only knowing the human anatomy, but knowing how to empathize with the human emotions that will make you an excellent physiotherapist. You have the privilege and the incredible opportunity of helping people when they are most vulnerable. What matters most to the patient at this point is sometimes the gentle word, the encouragement that you give them, the smile and the caring that shows through your eyes that will spur them onto a faster road to recovery and they will forever be grateful. I'll end my speech today with the wisdom of Maya Angelou, a famous poet who said, people will forget what you said, people will even forget what you did, but people will never forget how you make them feel. I hope you feel inspired to care, inspired to innovate, inspired to work together with one another to achieve the greater good. Thank you for listening, and I wish you a fulfilling journey ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Teo. Professor Chua Ki Chiang, Deputy President, Academic and Provost, SIT, will now present the prizes and certificates to the graduates. Professor Chua, please. May I present the graduates of whom the Bachelor of Science in Physiotherapy degree has earlier been conferred. Recipient of the National Council of Social Service Outstanding Student Award in Physiotherapy, Ang Wei Qin. <laughs> Amanda Li Jiamin. Ang Li Ching Adeline. Atishta, daughter of Tamil Maran. Ao Shu Chi. Bei Jiawen, Rebecca. <laughs> Bernard Ko Kun Sing. <laughs> Tang Chien En. Santiao Lim Yen Nin. Darlene Po Si Lei. Chong Hong Wai Ryan. Sherilyn Ho Si Yun. Sarah Ko Tian Yi.
Chia Rachel. Zhong Si Ying Sarah. Chua Annette. Association Christoph Joel <clears throat> Larissa Ma Zi Yu <clears throat> Devin Tan Jin Jie Elise Ho Jin Yi Elsia Tan Yuan Lin Elizabeth Ann Lim Yu Yan Simin Megan Gao Yue Mian Gladys Tan Yui Won Glenn Leong Keng Hao Goh Si Min Guo Yen Xiu Yan Ho Hui Wen Megan Ho Bing Tian Aaron Hui Man Q Ivan Tan Yong Su Jolice Niu Hui Xin Joshua Si Jing Hong Jovan Lin Guan Sun Karin Xia Cheng Ning Kenneth Niu Guo Hao Ho Wei Jun Gret Yin Xuan Li Hui Min Jasmine Tian Benjamin <clears throat> Lee Xiao En Bernice <clears throat> Li
Li Ting. Li Jiaoming Gideon. Liang Jingyi Francis. Liang Holun Terence. Lim Che Yong. Lim Hui Xian Selin. Lim Julie Barbara May. Lim Si Yi. Lim Shimin, Lim Wei En Isaac, Lim Xin Mei. Lim Yuxuan Yunis. Lo Jianting Gordon. Lo Hong Yao. Luisa Puasi Ying. Lai Zhi Hui Zhong. Muhammad Ferdaus bin Toslimin. Muhammad Farhan bin Muhammad Samsuri. Muhammad Ferdaus bin Asri. Muhammad Zuhazib bin Asman. Neo Jiafu Mitchell. Neo Ting En. Ng Ka Lin. Nicholas Ho Jin Wen. Nicole Xiu Jia Min. Na Aida Binti Sanwari. Ne Diana Binti Nordin. Nuru 
Natasha Binti Mohammad Nasir. Nuru Shifa Binti Kamaru Zaman. Ong Shayan. Ong Jian Ning Joy. Ong Ren Yong. Ong Zhe Zhao Gregory. P. T. V. N. P. Kailin Alicia. Po Jin Hao. Guai Hui Xian Patricia. Rachel Tia Tan Hui Zhen. Rebecca Yu Yi Ting. Rini Lo Yen Ling. Sing Wan Jing Samantha. Sheikh Asidit bin Sheikh Alauddin. Sherman Tan Wei Jie. Sri Da Sai Li. Sung Yi Ling. Sophia Vinti Samadhi. Sung Jian Long Jonathan. T.S. Ashika Shaznas. Tan Hong Ting. Tan Jia Chi. Tan Ju Wen Byron. Tan Kok Sui Nicholas. Tan Miao Yin Cynthia. Tan Ming Shi. Tan Xuan Jin. Tan Yan Ni. Tan Yi Liang.
Tay Ming Yi. Tay Kai Lei KC. Tiêu Chong Ai Joyce. Tiêu Chong Xin Fei. Vivian Li Jing Yi. Wen Jia Yin Nicole. Wang Cheng Wai Josephine. Wang Zichen Elliot. Wang Bing Chong Charles. Yu Jia Hao Jonathan. This concludes the presentation of graduates from the Bachelor of Science in Physiotherapy. Thank you, Professor Chua. Ladies and gentlemen, the awards presented today have all been made possible through the generosity of SIT's donors. To our donors, thank you for your thoughtful philanthropy. Your support has encouraged and inspired our students and graduates to continue to seek excellence wherever they go. The valedictorian for this ceremony is Ms. Ang Wei Tin. Wei Tin will now deliver the valedictorian speech. Professor Teo Eng Kiong, Chief Executive Officer, Sengkang General Hospital. Professor Cha Ki Chang, Deputy, Deputy President, Academic and Provost, SIT. Distinguished guests, family and friends, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. My name is Wei Tin, and I am honored to be giving this speech. First, on behalf of the physiotherapy class of 2021, I would like to extend my deepest gratitude to all the lecturers and professors for your guidance and support throughout our academic journey at SIT. You have played a vital role in building our foundation and equipping us with the essential skills to enter the workforce as novice physiotherapists. The extra mile that you took for us, from answering our late night questions during examinations, before examinations, sorry, to staying back in the labs after lessons to refine our practical skills and encouraging us when we were losing heart in the face of adversities, all these have helped us greatly to get to where we are today. Next, our appreciation goes out to all the clinical educators for their dedication in guiding us to become better clinicians. Clinical placements were our transition from being students to clinicians, and they have helped us make sense of what we had learned in textbooks and taught us ways to apply them to real life cases. To my clinical educators, Claire, Jenna, Pravin, Jessie, and Aisha, I am thankful to have crossed paths with you, and I have learned a great deal from you, both in hard and soft skills. Finally, because thanks to all our family and friends who have been the greatest pillars of strength and support for us, always by our side through our highs and lows. To my mother, I always look forward to your home-cooked dinner at the end of a long day in school. And to my father, thank you for allowing me to pursue my dream. To my sisters, I am too grateful for the four-year supply of bubble teas that kept me sane while studying. And lastly, to my friends, I will never forget the fun times we've had preparing for our practical exams in the labs. Four years passed by in a flash. 
I could still vaguely recall us gathering in the lecture theatre in SIT at Dover campus four years ago, reciting the physiotherapy pledge as a cohort. For many of us, this was the degree program that we had been dying to get into. With the passion to serve and help others, we gave it our all and studied hard. For many of us, um, the number of modules increased and its contents got more difficult. Uh, I found myself like, losing motivation and feeling exhausted from the amount of work. Thankfully, this cohort has been a joy to study with and that has helped me to push on and make it to graduation today. Friends would gladly share notes and they were always available to lend a listening ear when I'm worried or stressed. I'm certain that some of our common experiences have helped to bind us together. So for instance, the horrors from the blue markers when we had to mark out our body parts, or our favourite Mr. Sim, whom we like, continually practice our suctioning skills on, or the times we've acted as patients during classes. Moving forward, most of us have started working amidst this global pandemic. It's a steep learning curve other than having to learn the respective organisations, practice guidelines and administrative processes, managing our patient loads and many more. We also have to keep up with the COVID-19 advisories and minimise socialising with our colleagues. I believe many of us have felt alone, especially if we are the only fresh graduate in the team. So let's be there for one another through this period and better times will come. As we close this chapter of our lives and move on to the next, I am sure that many of us are anxious for what's to come. My wish is for all of us to slow down and enjoy the adulting process and also to define success in our own terms. I believe we've all felt the pressure to be successful. However, success is defined in various ways and the definition that matters the most should be your own. While we make patients' lives worth living, I do hope that each and every one of us will also find purpose and fulfilment in this profession that will keep us going for a long time. So let's put our hands together to celebrate our achievement today. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2021. Thank you, Wei Chin. Dear graduates, as we come to the end of today's ceremony, we extend our congratulations to you and warmly welcome you to the SIT alumni family. Once a citizen, always a citizen. Congratulations, Class of 2021. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem and the ceremonial recession. Thank you. 